Hey guys, welcome back to the Wild Dog Project 365, episode 1293. Guys, if you're following along on YouTube, please jump on over to thewilddoc.com. Check out all of our full length videos, and that's where we house them. What we're talking about today is tennis elbow. And although this isn't a tennis racket, it is a racquetball racket, the mechanism uh, for this injury is the same, whether it's tennis or whether it's racquetball or whether it's squash. Okay, and I've got some questions about this, so I figured I might as well address the mechanism of injury so you guys can better understand it. So the first thing that we're gonna do is define it. What is tennis elbow or lateral epicondylitis, okay? What that is, is that is irritation to the outside tendons, and these outside tendons that connect to the elbow are responsible for wrist extension. That means bringing the wrist in this direction. So why is it that if I'm going, if, if these sports uh, are generally forehand dominant, why is it that I start to get irritation to this outside aspect, right? Pretty much right where you see that, that little bit of shadow. And it's because of the excessive eccentric loading. You see, as we go through that forearm drive, okay, the power stroke, this concentric or uh, muscle shortening phase, my wrist is going into flexion. Something has to, after I hit the ball or whether I whiff or doesn't matter, as I come through, something has to slow that wrist down. If not, it's just gonna hit me. It's gonna, that, that movement's gonna continue. It'll hit me in the side or, or anything else like that. So what slows that down is the, extens is the extensibility of the tissue, right? So the opposite group, not the flexion group, the extension group is what slows down the racket as I follow through. Now, eccentric activities in the rehab setting is awesome um, to recover from injury, but excessively done under dynamic or plyometric load is what can cause that irritation to the tendon, okay? Because it is a contracted tissue that is lengthening, okay? So contracted tissues that are that lengthen under a vigorous, dynamic, um, plyometric type of load, that could be the thing that supersedes the integrity of the tissue, starts to cause that irritation. So if you're starting to get this, that is the possible mechanism uh, of what's going on, okay? So if you're playing any racket sports, hopefully this helps you out. Questions on this, comments on this, and, and questions about how to treat it, please go ahead and uh, drop the questions down below. Otherwise, guys, we are here each and every day, and until tomorrow, we are optimizing function to optimize performance. Thank <laughs> you.